Now, uh, after the bridge, there's a... The real book says repeat the uh, head, and uh, there's another way to play the heads. You know, there's whatever there are. Ten different fake book real books, so... One version does the head like this, and I'll show this to you now. It's an alternate version. You do the F major 7, but then you go to a B flat. I use a baby B flat, which again is that C, it's the D shape, but we're doing it on the B string, G string, and D string. That is a B, that triad, that's a B flat 7, and then I throw the bass note on there, or you can do it like this. You can just bar it and put the, this finger down there on the G string. The trick is to just pluck the B. G, D with your picking hand. So, it's F major 7, B flat, and then A minor, straight across bar, real easy. And then a D7 with a flat 9. So you've got your D7 shape, which is 5, 4, 5 on the A, D, G. And what I, the way I grab this is I just flatten this finger into a mini bar, I guess it's called. If you want to use all four fingers, you could do that by using your ring finger and pinky here on the fifth fret of the A and the G, and then these two fingers on the fourth fret of the G and the B. to use both different ways of doing it. So that's the variation, and then it's the same. So here's how that variation goes. And then we go into the second ending. So I like to use that alternate uh, statement of the head using the B flat in there instead of the F sharp diminished when I, when I play the song. Uh, again, I'm always looking for ways to break it up when you're playing this, especially solo. I play the same thing you know, over and over again for three, three choruses.